All right, good morning, everyone. We just got home. Say hi, baby. You want to show them what you got? Wow, so pretty. <laughs> it's like a little mini piano that she chose. So we just got home. Um, we, as I said yesterday, that we had a doctor's appointment for Deliza today, which we went. I didn't really bring the camera with me because, you know, I don't really have like a little stick to hold on to it, you know. To make it easier on me so and I was struggling even without the camera with just the diaper bag stroller and with her because she was in a really grumpy mood so she doesn't wake up that early we woke up like at 7 I woke up at 7 she woke up I woke her up like around 7 30 years when I was finished getting ready I got her ready and then from there I went to the doctor she got her flu shot and she got blood drawn today because she needed her blood results for a form for a wick form to get like wick again so she was crying the whole time I'm pretty sure it was painful for her so I got her something for being semi good she cried she kicked a little but she and she screamed a little but other than that she stopped crying right away after the ticket off so she chose this toy she's such a she's such a drummer full like i swear we left in a hurry setting her chest to brush her teeth so she wants to brush them right now that's what she's asking for <laughs> Just had a little scare right now. I thought my camera, was, my camera wasn't turning on, but I just took out the battery and put it back in. And that helped, so it turned on. I was like, no, 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 please. I was like, I'm just barely getting it up for my vlogs. <laughs> okay, so I did the makeup. Um, the eyebrows are looking pretty nice. I, I kind of like it. It looks kind of odd because I don't have concealer to like make it look sharper. So it looks kind of like dull from the edges, but it's pretty sharp. I had to use like my fingers to like kind of even it out. It's not really that even, but I like it. And then the mascara, look at that. I like it. It's really nice. Like my eyelashes are really long naturally, but this makes it like um, cause my hair really thinned out when I got pregnant with Eliza. My eyelashes used to be thicker, and they thinned out a lot. Uh oh, no, 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 no. And this is the lipstick that I was trying that I got. I like it. It's a little redder than I expected. Yes, baby. It's not toy baby. So I tried it on my skin. It's like a uh, I'm not sure what I could call this color, like a burgundy brown, like a brick brown. But on the picture over there it was supposed to, well I guess it was this kind of color. I just expected it to look brown brown. But I kinda like it. It's this is the really thin layer. I like it. It's nice. I like dark colors, so my hair's messy and oily right now, so I'm gonna go and grab it. Like, give me a second. All right, there we go. So my hair's—I don't look that good, obviously. It's just my hair's a little. Ugh. I look, my hair's just acting weird right now. I look silly as hell. But yeah, I just want to show you guys. Whoa, my nose is looking really, really big. I swear to God, my nose is not that big. <laughs> uh, terrible angling. I don't know why my nose looks like that. Maybe it is that big. Who knows? I'm just gonna talk with my head up like this, doing hair makeup too. <laughs> yeah. Rah, rah, rah. So the room is a mess, literally. This is how we slept last night. All this is still here. My mom slept on the bed. We're just being lazy, watching the movie for now. I'm making beans, which I have to check off. That's it right now. I pulled down some beef down. Making some beans, I'll probably make some BDR or something. So, I'm making beans from scratch, literally. So, mm, if you guys can smell, this smells bomb, I swear. And this is what I pulled it's um, what's it called? It's um, beef for stew. So, it's like, yeah, beef for stew. So, it's like you can like, I can like boil it with a bunch of seasoning 
and let it like shred with a little bit of water and it'll just shred and it'll become like media type stuff so we're gonna have it like that today so that's what we're gonna do that's what I'm gonna make for dinner that's what we're gonna have for dinner I gotta clean up it's not that messy over here he's been peeing on his pee pad and I've been taking him out a lot lately we just walked him when we came back I just have the dishes to clean and I have this room to clean yeah it's toy she's doing her makeup you doing your makeup whoa how pretty show me show me how you do your makeup let me see oh you did in that eyebrow oh my goodness let me see go do your makeup let me see show me how you do your makeup <laughs> No, you can't open that one, baby. That one's a no-no, okay? Yeah. Thank you. You want some lipstick? Nah, she's too young for some lipstick. Look, 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 look. She's doing it. Whoa. Oh, she actually got some on her eyebrow. Hey, guys. So, I realized that today is morning day. And I'm not one... Who usually boats I'm more like of a neutral person like not that I don't believe in the system it's just I don't know I just never grew up talking about politics and stuff like that but my boyfriend he he is one into that and I'm not doing this for him he just made me realize on how much it matters um I don't really know how to work what I'm trying to say but um hopefully I'm gonna go check it out my the poll near me so I'm gonna check it out hopefully I can register there at the same time and vote they said I can bring my daughter with me I looked it up online so I'm gonna try this and they close at 8 but I'd rather go right now before it starts to get really packed it might be packed already because you know it's out of school but I think I'm gonna test it out not not that I'm testing it out I <sighs> I don't know it's just one of those moments where I just say you know what I'm grown I really need to start you know getting into the politics I'm a little nervous but I'm gonna see how this goes <laughs> all right I'll let you guys go because she's a little grumpy I am now an official proud registered voter you guys I just came back home from voting the poll was like around the corner I registered there and voted this is my first time and you know what um, I just wanted to speak up about it my boyfriend Ricky my fiance even though he hasn't proposed to me my future husband um, he you know we talked about it a couple days ago and I and I never really had it in mind because I didn't grow up you know into politics my dad is one who doesn't watch the news so I never watched the news my mom watches the news, but she never really like spoke up about it to us about voting. Yes, we would see her vote. Yes, we would see her like watch the news, but she never really explained it to us about how it works. And so, like you know, I, I never really was um, how do you, how do I say this? I never was intrigued or motivated or didn't even know what all that was about to be honest until just until it hit me when I was older, but. It didn't really like capture my attention. I was just like, oh, it's no big deal. That's how I used to think. A couple of days ago, I talked to Ricky about it. We talked about it. And, you know, I told him, I was like, no, it's like, I don't vote. I'm not even registered, blah, blah, blah. And he's registered to vote. He's into politics like that. He was like, well, I'm going to vote. And, you know, and he told me his side of it, like, of why he votes and how he wants to contribute, like, into making a difference. Because then he was like, you know, He's like, don't be one of those who think that just by not voting, that's going to take care of itself. And, you know, I can be that one vote that'll make one proposition or presidential vote, di like, a big difference, you know? And that's any end of us, you know? And I, I can't really say much to motivate you guys, but I hope I can by what I'm saying. Like, if you want to put a part into your community to make it a better place for your kids, for your... For your parents, for for anybody, for your pets, even because there's proposition in twelve, and I voted yes, you know, to limit or to even ban, um, you know, animal abuse. Man, and it's like they say, like there's many battles within a war. You know, if us, this is like a battle to the presidential vote. 
you know, this is just proposition, senators, who's going to be our next government, our Supreme Court and stuff like that. Like, we need to be wise on who we choose the people to be, you know, to have that, you know, that power of the law to someone I can trust to, like, you know, make wise decisions. I hope you guys can grasp what I'm trying to say. Think about your community, your streets, your schools, your kids, your parents, your grandparents, the people that you love. If you want them to feel safe in an environment of their community, then that's where you start. You start by voting. You start by making that one difference. We can make a change. And that's what I want to speak up about. And that's what I want to thank my lovingly husband. Yes, he's not my husband yet, but I want to call him my husband because we are in that phase. So, I want to thank him for opening my eyes or opening my mind, better said. Because I honestly didn't ever, I never had an open mind towards it until him and I talked about it. And he was completely honest with me. Like, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. He told me straight to my face about how he felt that you know like of course he said like if you don't want to vote you don't have to he never he didn't force me to vote and if anything i texted him i was like you know what baby i was like thank you for making me a better person into actually putting my part in this community and i thanked them and i told him i loved them and i still do and i love them and i told him that i love him for always making me see my better self because that really truly opened up and after i voted i'm not gonna t i'm not gonna lie like i swear to god i really truly 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 felt so much better coming out of there like, I truly, really did because I put my part and I feel better that, you know, that if, say, a proposition that I wanted didn't go as it planned, I feel better that, you know, at least I did my part in, you know, preventing that or, you know, allowing that to happen, you know. So it's, it's, it's kind of, it's really hard for me to put into words just because it's my first time as voting. And because, you know, this is the first time I'm ever going to put myself into, into, the, how do I, how can I say this? I'm putting myself into the politics and economics of our world to see what's going on, to know, to know what's happening around me. Because I need to know if the environment and the community that I'm in is completely safe for my two-year-old. And that's honestly what I was thinking about when I voted for the first time. And hopefully this will inspire some people to vote. And I know I'm ranting on now for like a long period of time. So I'm just going to be quiet. I said my piece. And I hope this inspires anybody who's watching this to vote. We're back home. The room is still a mess, as you can tell. So how about we just clean it up like Mary Poppins style. And it is clean. Playing. And just like that, Mary Poppins with a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> that made no sense, but you know what I was trying to say. Oh, my camera is blurry, you guys. There we go, that's better. Sorry, I'm also wet and oily, so I've been cleaning up as you can tell. Um, and then I just have this to clean up. <gasps> Who's coming home? Oh, it's not coming home. You're disturbing the home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, you're going to put it up? Just put it on the floor. I just, I just vacuumed right now. Yeah. What's that? Uh, will you nest? Benjamin! Is she even using okay. the waist trainer? She can't find it. I took it. No, I'm just kidding. Yo, so what's up you guys man, this is Ricardo man, I know you guys don't see a lot about me right here on these videos man, but it's all good, I just wanted to say that, yo, look at this, what do we have here, it's an I voted sticker man, because for the like second time in my life I voted, man, I encourage everyone, single one of you guys man, once you guys hit 18 and you guys get that chance to vote man, go do it, you guys might think it might not make a difference, but it does man. It makes a difference for everybody. You guys have a voice, man, and this is your chance. Other than that, man, so now that that's done, look, look, look. this is what I'm excited about. Ah, oh, man, you guys can't see it, but ah, uh, right there. Boom. What game is it? Red Dead Redemption 2. See, you guys don't see me, and you guys will not see me because of this game. I will not be present because of this game right here, man. I'm about to bust a low life. Uh, maybe like hmm, let's say I give it three days man I give it three days I'll pass it in three days 
Done. You're gonna be alone for three days? What's up? No, I kind of felt I felt like 20,000 times already, man. It's not about her right now, but it's about her. this right here, man. Do you see this right here? Oh, like, God damn it. He's no, a little full of himself. <laughs> damn. I don't even know what to say after that no more. We're getting ready to leave my mom's house finally with our basket of clothes. My mom be thinking we're moving in here now, huh, Liza? You ready to go? I already got her in her PJ. She looks all set and ready. Mommy, mommy. Yes, baby. You wanna say goodnight? Say goodnight. <laughs> He's so cute. Well, you got your kiss goodnight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is. So I'll probably <laughs> see you guys like in 30 minutes. Or She's no. Gonna no, I'm gonna leave the camera here. That's what I'm saying goodnight.